This video, sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Lyrics Easy. And using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. And my duration is 30 seconds longer. I am keeping the small size for this tutorial. You should use the exact duration of your song. Now, the first step is to import your audio as well as the image into the project. You can download them from the link in the description. Let's place the audio file in the bottom, and then select the image layer, and adjust the size of it. By the way, you are free to use your own image or video. Now, press shift, plus down or up arrow key, to adjust the position of the image. I am going to place the image right here. Now right click on your image layer, and pre-compose it. Let's call it the image and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now select the audio layer, and press L double time, to open the waveform. Then RAM preview it, to hear the song. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only You can download this song from the link in the description. Cool. Let's find a position, where the first line is going to be placed. You can press Ctrl, or Command key, while scrubbing to the timeline. It will play the audio while scrubbing. I think this is the point. Let's add our text here. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Then open your lyrics file, and copy the line which you want to place. I am going to use these two lines. So let's copy them. Now go to the After Effects, and add your text. Let's paste your text right here. Make sure to place your text layer on top of all layers. You can download this font from the link in the description. Let's align it to the center as well. Now, I am using the font size of 100. And the line spacing is 130. You are free to choose your own design. Let's add some small animation on the text. So select the text layer, and then open its position. Now press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression on it. In the expression box, type wiggle, parentheses. And inside it, type 1,5. The first value defines the speed, and 5 defines the amount of the wiggle. Then click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the typing tool. And now the text will start moving randomly. Cool. Let's add the same expression on the scale as well. Again click on the stopwatch icon, while holding the control key. And add the same expression on it. Let's add this expression on the rotation as well. Of course, you are free to choose your own ideas. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. I just can't let you go. Lord no looks good to me. In case you don't want to keep any specific expression, you can turn it off by clicking here. Cool. 
I am going to change the scale expression value by 2, so that the scale will be less wiggly. Let's minimize it, to get some room. Now go to the point, where the first line is starting. In my case, it is starting right here. So go to the point, and then press the square bracket open key, to place it on the two seconds. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Cool. Let's split the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift D. And delete the top layer. We will use this part only. Let's quickly create the fade in, and fade out effect. Go to around this position, and then open opacity. Here, add a keyframe on it. Now go to the beginning of the layer, and change the opacity value to 0%. It will make this fade in effect. Now go to around this position, and click here to add a keyframe on it. Then go to the last position, and change the opacity value to 0%. Let's add some distance between these keyframes. Now select all keyframes, and press F9, to easy ease them. Check the animation, and see if you I'll like it. You go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You cool. Not bad. Let's add the second line now. Select this text layer, and make a duplicate of it. Then open keyframes, and place this layer right next to the first one. Adjust your timing, and now we can replace the text of it. Select the next lines, and copy them. Then select the text in After Effects, and paste the lines you have copied. And done. You can even change any specific word in a different font, or color. Because every layer is independent, so you don't have to worry about it. Change anything you want. I am keeping this design just for this tutorial. You should go with your own design. Let's check the animation. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left. Cool. Looks better. There is a problem. The second layer is fading out before the line is completed. But we can fix it very easily. Select the edge of the text layer, and then stretch it till the next line. Now open keyframes, by pressing the U on your keyboard. Then grab these end keyframes, and place them toward the edge. It will keep the second text layer a little longer. Let's quickly add one more layer, and place it right next to the bottom layer. Then select the next lines, and copy them. Then go to the After Effects, and double click on this text layer, to enable the text editing. Now paste your text right here. And add the space, if required. Let's play it once again. Now I don't want it to play from the beginning, so I am placing the first playhead position at right here. And then press B, to set the starting point. But make sure to place it back in the beginning, while rendering your project. Cool. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Let's add the next line. Go to the position, where you want to add your next line. I am holding the control key, while scrubbing the playhead. Let's find the point, and then place the end keyframes on that position. Cool. Now, just follow these steps. To create more layers. You only have to make a duplicate, of the text layer. Replace the text with the new one. Adjust the keyframes if required. And you are done. Take some time to achieve the better result. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces 
Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Let's do the last step Minimize all layers to get some room Now create a new solid layer and call it black bar I am using this black color for it and then hit OK. Make sure to place it on top of all layers. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC jaws. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the height value to 0%. As well as, change the completion value to 75%. It will add these black bars on top of all layers. Complete the whole song, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and I peace. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Thank you.